everybody welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i missed you guys on wednesday <laughs> i'm so sorry about wednesday i couldn't put up any video on wednesday because there was just a lot of things on my table so i'm really sorry because i know some of you have been sending me dms you know where's the video i didn't see you what's up what's up what's up so i'm really sorry i disappointed you guys on wednesday i hope you guys are doing well so today we are going to be jesting Yes, so I'm very distant about the movie that I saw, the movie and the series I saw over the week. You guys recommended some movies to me, right? A lot of you recommended Bridgerton, and I was like, ha, what about Bridgerton though? So today, we are going to be jesting. Yes, so I'm very distant about the movie that I saw, the movie and the series I saw over the week. You guys recommended some movies to me, right? A lot of you recommended Bridgerton, and I was like, ha, "What about Bridgerton, though?" So today we are going to be jesting. Yes, so I'm very distant about the movie that I saw, the movie and the series I saw over the week. You guys recommended some movies to me, right? A lot of you recommended Bridgerton, and I was like, ha, "What about Bridgerton, though?" And then I also saw Namaste Wahala. So I'll be starting with Bridgerton, okay? Bridgerton is a romantic drama series. Okay, I did this romantic because I love watching romantic movies. There's just something it does to my heart. <laughs> I love watching romantic movies. So comment below if you like watching romantic movies like me. You see, action film that they are shooting, choo -choo 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 -choo, you will barely find me there because I will just start crying. Like, what's going on here? Why are you killing each other? Let there be peace in the world. So. <laughs> As I was saying, Bridgerton is a romantic drama series which is showing on Netflix. Bridgerton is not just a romantic drama series, it's also about betrayal, lost, wealth, you know, so many other things. And I love the diversity of the series. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw a black queen. I was like, oh, okay black queen of england <laughs> it was so beautiful the duke was black i, I saw i just love the culture i love that they brought people from different culture i just really 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 love the diversity of the series the actors were great all of them were great and i love the way they portrayed the character it was perfect it was excellent you could feel the character you know it didn't it, it was just effortless the portrayal of the character was just really effortless i think that like, it's so relaxing to look at and it's so beautiful i love the costume the music the set everything was just so colorful and beautiful you know i really enjoyed watching it there's so many scenes i loved in the in the series so many there are two characters who started out maybe on the fence with each other but is slowly growing to something more and um they both had different reasons or so different things came up at different times that um was looking like they weren't going to end up together like an obstacle but eventually they ended up together and that scene okay i don't want to let the cat out of the bag for those of you who haven't seen it. maybe you should just see it for yourself but i really love that they ended up together and i love that you know um daphne went for love she went she followed her heart she went for the man that she loved and it was so cool and I don't want to say too much. Before Daphne got married to Simon, who is the Duke of Hastings, um, Daphne went through this pressure of get married, get married, and there were other men who wanted to marry her, but she didn't exactly like them. And because she's the first daughter of the Bridgerton family, you know, she has to, there was so much pressure on her. And of course, her brother was trying to help her find a man that he feels like would be a good man for her. But I'm glad that she ended up making her own decision and got married on her own terms, married the man that she loved. Um, yeah. And also the um, Duke, when he said that he didn't want to get married, I was like, there's definitely a reason. I don't, I feel like there's more to this. Like a man would not just come up one day to say, I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids and all that. So when, when I saw the backstory, I felt so sorry for him. And then I understood why he said he didn't want to get married. I didn't want to, I don't want 
to say so much rather because i i don't want to ruin it for those of you who haven't seen the series if you want to see it you should see it it's on netflix however there's a part of the part of the series where i did not like is the intimate part of the series the sex scenes oh, i was just like no i can't see this but yeah that's the part of the series that i didn't like apart from that it was it was beautiful to watch i love watching love stories and i love that they ended up together of course when they were getting married i was worried for them i was like are they going to have a good marriage would they be happy and all that stuff but i was glad that they ended up together also i saw i mean um there was a part where i saw the reason why mothers um, should educate their female child or ch should educate their daughters about sex and all that because I s the babe didn't know what to do when she got married to the duke so I know that many times especially in this side of the world our parents don't like to talk to us about sex and all those things I remember my mother <laughs> the only sex education my mother gave me was if any boy touches you you'll get pregnant if you allow any boy to touch you you'll get you know like what are you saying, ma? <laughs> okay, so yeah, like it's very important that we 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 educate our children, um, the female children, even male children. Sex education is very important. So yeah, I enjoyed the series. Let's move to Namaste Wahala. I was looking forward to Namaste Wahala because I love Bollywood movies. My father loves Bollywood movies. I grew up watching a lot of Bollywood movies. I followed a lot of Bollywood series, you know, on TV, you know, we'll be counting down to when next they'll be showing it. And I just really love how that, I love the love in Bollywood series. I love how, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I enjoy, they didn't, of course, they were not so, I didn't see any, growing up, I didn't see any Bollywood movie series, rather, that had intimate scenes, I mean, like, where they were kissing or making out and all of that, but the love between the couple was so believable and so rich, and you don't feel like, oh my god, where is that Indian man that will marry me, and kind of thing. <laughs> Remember one time I was telling my friend that I was going to get married to an Indian just because of the series and the movies that I watched. So I was so excited about this. I was like, yay! Bollywood and Hollywood, let go! Let's see how it's gonna be. Hang them. Yeah, I love the casting in the series. I love all the cast in the series. Shout out to Imi Dima! Ah, I love, I mean, Imi, Imi and I, <clears throat> sorry, Imi and I were in a project together last year. I can't wait for you guys to see this project. It's gonna be in the cinema this year and hopefully on Netflix before the year runs out. Also, Annie and I were in a movie together as well. The same movie, actually. And it was just so good to watch them in that movie. I was like, oh, look at my people. <laughs> Do you guys believe in love at first sight? Please leave it in the comment below if you believe in love at first sight. I believe in... I know that I've met somebody for the very first time before. And I was like, oh, this guy is so cute. I like him, but not like love him. Like... I, so I don't know if it, ha if it has happened to anybody, rather if it has ever happened to you, please leave it in the comment below, explain to me how it happens, I really like, because many times when I read about love at first sight and all, I'm just like, does this thing really happen, is it possible to love somebody that you don't know, like love at first sight, so leave it in the comment below if you think that it is possible to, to love somebody from the very first time you see the person. Okay, before I proceed, because I'm already like going into it already, Namaste Wahala was produced, directed, and written by Amisha Diani Hahuja. Hmm, I hope I did not murder the name. I love that the movie speaks against domestic violence and abuse. I like that the movie teaches us to always stand up for what is right. It's not always about money. I also love that the movie supports an interracial marriage. You know, we find love in different places from different parts of the world. And I really love that the movie portrayed that. My favorite characters in this movie is definitely Angie and Ima. Comment below, let me know your favorite character in the movie. I also like um, Raj's mother. Let me talk about the things that I don't like in the movie. <laughs> I did not like the dancing part of the movie. Not at the end of the movie, but like, so when um, 
when Didi, that's Ini Dima's character, when the character Didi and Raj fell in love, you know, after they agreed, well, okay, or they want to start dating each other, the next thing we see is that they start to do shori shori dance. I'm like, okay, like, ah. I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't like it. I liked it at the end for the wedding, but for, for that scene, for the beginning part of the scene, like the beginning part of their relationship, I didn't really enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment below because I'm like, uh, no, 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 I didn't like that part. Also, I feel like there could be, there could have been more chemistry because I mean, like I said, this was so, when you watch Indian series or you watch Indian movies, love ones, the romantic ones, they, they just keep you connected to your TV. There's just something they do to you that makes you really believe that those two people are actually in love. I didn't get a lot of that as in, in Namaste Wahala. So they, they did well, but I was expecting, my expectation was like high, 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 high. So yeah, they did well. Also, um, I think one of my... <laughs> There were so many funny parts in the movie that I, that I loved it, but the, the ending part of, this, of the movie where Raj's mother was asking Didi's dad for from group price. <laughs> and it was like, I should be asking you that I have not paid the right price. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I really like that part. So you get yeah, Namaste Wahala. It's also a good movie for you to see. So thank you for recommending these movies. I enjoyed them. Uh, let me know in the comment below if you have any contributions or anything to say at all <laughs> about these movies. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Please like this video. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be well. <laughs>